What is the maximum internal bending moment for the beam? First thing we need to do is decide what our reactions are going to be. I have this uniform distributed load across the beam of 2 newtons per meter. The beam is quite symmetric, so if I have AY here and BY over there, I, I can say without any loss of generality that AY equals BY equals 10 newtons. The total distributed load down is going to be 2 times 10 is 20 newtons down, half of which has to be at the other end. So my shear load, my shear diagram starts at 10 newtons up. It's going to decrease linearly because W is constant with a slope equal to the value of W. So my slope is going to be negative 2. Remember W is defined as positive down, so that gives me V is equal to negative the integral of w. That's how that works. This will continue decreasing at a slope of negative 2 until I get down to negative 10 newtons, which brings me back up to 0 with my 10 newton load at b. Now the area under my v curve gives me my n m curve. I don't have a moment at the left hand end because it's a pin, so I'm going to start at 0. I'm going to increase quadratically. Now m V is above the x-axis, so I know I'm increasing. And since I have rather more area on the left-hand piece than I do on the right, I know that M has to be increasing more here than it is here. That leads me to believe that this has to be concave down. Now, the zero point at V is an inflection point for M. So I know that now I have area under the x-axis, and M is going to be decreasing. Again, if I look at my triangle, I have more area on the right, so that gives me a bigger decrease. That means that I still have a concave down M. You can also remember, if you happen to remember, if V is decreasing, M is concave down, but that's rather up to you whether you figure it out or remember it. The area under the curve between 0 and 5 is the area of that triangle. That's the value of M. 1 half 10 times 5 is 25.0 newton meters. That is the maximum value for M. So that's our answer.